if you think about it, when you're cultivating seeds, you've taken them out of their natural environment, and by doing that, you're taking them away from the natural processes that would be acting on them over the passage of the seasons. So, you know, some examples would be um, in the winter, the freezing and thawing process of the ground that breaks down seeds and helps them germinate in the spring. The, the warming of the soil in the spring a lot of times triggers seeds to germinate. Um, other examples would be when um, mammals or birds consume berries or fruit and the seed passes through the digestive tract, that also helps to break down the seed coat and encourage germination. So um, if you've taken seeds away from their natural environment, you have to simulate those processes. And they're, it's pretty easy to do, just you know, using a few simple techniques to kind of trick them into germinating. The first technique you can use is a warm soak of seeds. Seeds that have tough outer seed coats or tend to be difficult to germinate often benefit from soaking them in warm water. Some resources will suggest using acids to, to break down the seed coat, but a lot of times you can substitute the acid by just a really hot water soak for anywhere from 6 to 12 hours, sometimes a little bit more if you're dealing with trees. You can let the water get fairly hot, you just don't want it to, to reach um, boiling temperature. Um, but it's, it's real simple to do. All you do is take the seeds, put them in a container, and then pour warm water over them just like that. And just let them set for, for the required time. What happens when you use the warm water, it'll uh, get through the seed coat and hydrate the embryo and just kind of encourage it to germinate a little bit quicker. A lot of times, seeds that don't necessarily require a warm soak will still germinate faster if you soak them beforehand. Another technique is uh, scarification. In order to simulate the abrasive processes that some hard-coated seeds undergo in nature, you'll need to um, nick the outer seed coat of the seed. This is uh, Vinia caracalla, the caracalla bean. And you can see where the eye of the seed is. That's, that's where the embryo um, the shoot is going to emerge from there. So what you want to do is nick opposite of the eye so you don't damage where the new shoot will emerge. What we do is just take a file and lay it flat. Take the seed like this, just holding it gently, and just run it back and forth along the file. You don't have to nick it too much, just enough that you're showing the, the inner side of the seed. And that way, um, when you sow the seed, moisture will more easily be able to get inside and hydrate the embryo. A lot of times you can use a warm soak to follow up the scarification. Another technique is cold stratification. Um, with cold stratification, what you're doing is simulating um, winter for seeds that would be normally laying dormant in the soil outside. And um, throughout the winter, they're undergoing freeze thaw in the soil, um, and then that's followed by um, a warming of the soil in the spring. So what you want to do here is trick the seeds into thinking that they've gone through the winter and are now coming into the spring, and what that will do is that will trigger them to germinate. One example of a perennial that's difficult to germinate is the columbine, or aquilegia. Um, they're, they're real difficult unless you bring them through a cold stratification. So what you want to do first is label a reclosable plastic bag with the name of the seed and you'll want to write the date that you start the cold strat and then the date that you want to bring it out. The columbines typically take six weeks in cold strat so I'm gonna say the middle of November it can come out of its cold strat and then be sewn as as normal. Once you have your labeled bag you'll want to fill it with moist but not overly wet seed starting soil you can see it's very fine grained. Moisten it before it goes inside the bag. And you don't need a whole lot of it. The seeds of columbines are very fine. Then you'll take the seed, just pour a little bit out inside your hand, and then dump it into the bag of soil, just like that. And then after you've closed up the bag, sealed it up, you'll just want to mix it around so the seeds are incorporated throughout the soil evenly. It's essential that when you take a seed through cold stratification, uh, it's moist as well 
as cold. That the, the moisture is what's going to help break dormancy. After you've done this, you can put the, the bag inside your fridge. The fridge offers optimum temperatures for a cold stratification. Just put it inside the fridge until the date that you want to take it out. And you'll take the entire contents of the packet, because the seed is mixed within the soil inside, and you'll just spread it over top. Once you have your seeds scattered around, you'll take a tamper and just gently press down on the surface, and this makes sure that the seed is in good contact with the moist soil surface. And then to maintain that moisture in the germinating environment, you want to use a piece of plastic over the pot. So once you have it covered, you'll, you'll put it in a, a warm, sunny location to germinate, and it's that temperature difference between going from the the, um, the cold, wet environment to the warm, wet environment that is going to trigger the germination to occur.